He is known for being a Slovene composer of classical music and holding dual citizenship in Slovenia and the United States. Kentusser is recognized for his extensive repertoire, which includes symphonic music, ballets, and opera, chamber music, and solo pieces. His name is Bozidar Kentusser. In the world of classical music, one name stands out, Bozidar Kentusser, a legendary Slovene composer whose talent and contributions to the field are unparalleled. Born in Slovenia, Kentusser later became a citizen of both Slovenia and the United States. His musical genius knew no bounds, as he composed symphonic music, ballets, and opera, chamber music, and solo pieces, captivating audiences with his masterful compositions. In 1950, Kentusser made the bold decision to move to France, immersing himself in the vibrant artistic scene of the country. It was during this time that he met and married the American painter Grace Renzi, forming a partnership that would inspire and influence both of their artistic endeavors. Kentusser's music resonated deeply with listeners, evoking emotions and painting vivid musical landscapes that transported audiences to another world. Beyond his own compositions, Bozidar Kentusser also played a vital role in preserving and promoting contemporary music. In 1968, he took on the position of director at the International Library of Contemporary Music, a prestigious institution dedicated to collecting and archiving the works of modern composers. His passion for music extended beyond his own creations, as he tirelessly worked to ensure that the voices of contemporary composers were heard and appreciated. Today, Bozidar Kentusser rests in peace at the renowned Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, a final resting place for many great artists and musicians. His legacy lives on through his breathtaking compositions and his unwavering dedication to the world of classical music. Kentusser's profound impact on the field will forever be remembered, as his music continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Bozidar Kentusser, born on a farm in northeastern Slovenia, was deeply influenced by the rural environment and cultural heritage of his native Pulakija. As a child, he witnessed pagan dances and bonfire rituals, which sparked his imagination and later became subjects of his compositions. Kentusser's father, a beekeeper, also played a crucial role in fostering his musical education. From a young age, Kentusser learned to play the violin and developed a passion for string instruments through his experience with the Selge Orchestra and chamber music. In his adolescence, Kentusser felt a growing desire to express himself through music and decided to pursue composition studies. He attended the Selge High School and participated in the Laic Scout movement. During the summers, he spent time in Kamnik, his mother's birthplace, at the foot of the Alps. However, his life took a dramatic turn in 1941 when he had to flee from the Nazis. Leaving his family behind in Selge, Kentusser sought refuge in Ljubljana and continued his education. It was there that he met Sreko Kopork, a professor of composition, who became his mentor. Despite facing numerous challenges, including arrest by the fascists and internment in concentration camps, Kentusser's determination to pursue music remained unwavering. After the end of World War II, he settled in Ljubljana and resumed his composition studies with Kopork. In 1946, Kentusser signed his first work, A Fugue with Two Subjects, and continued to develop his skills. In 1950, he decided to venture to Paris, where he immersed himself in the artistic milieu and made connections with notable painters and musicians. During his time in Paris, Kentusser attended classes by renowned composers such as Olivier Messiaen and participated in the Darmstadter Ferienkurs. In 1953, he co-founded Group 84 with fellow artists, marking a significant step in his career. That same year, Kentusser signed his first string quartet and met Grace Renzi, an American artist who would later become his wife. The couple settled in the Republic Quarter, and in 1954, Kentusser signed his first symphony, the Chamber Symphony. Kentusser's time in Paris was a period of artistic growth and exploration. He delved into various musical styles and expanded his repertoire. In 1955, his son Borut was born, bringing further joy and inspiration to his life. With each composition, Kentusser's unique voice and musical language continued to evolve, leaving a lasting impact on the world of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.